Hello everyone, welcome to our another video. Uh, today we will talk about Arik Swift. <clears throat> so Arik Swift is reactive programming and I will show you simple project, simple listing project. We will use table view and uh, we will do configuration with Arik Swift. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to uh, create a pod file because uh, we need to implement our uh, Rx Swift and Rx Cocoa pods. Uh, so let's go to the project directory. Okay, a pod init and open pod file. Let's add this to file. Pod and stuff. Okay, that's cool. And uh, Let's open our project again, we have a workspace. Uh, yeah. Here we are. Okay. Our uh, pod file is like that. And uh, these are our pods, our Rx pods. So uh, the project will be about, as I said before, is listing. We will list a uh, cars uh, and we will do this configuration with our X. So let's first add our table view in our storyboard. Let's add our constraints and add cell, uh, cell identifier. And I want a uh, cell type is subtitle. I want to show a model at top. Let's make it simple. Customization. Okay. Mm, now let's add our table view to our V control. Okay, so we don't need to uh, make any configuration from storyboard, or we don't need. Uh, add any data source and delegates. Uh, we'll do all these processes through the Rx Swift. So before uh, importing Rx uh, in our view controller, I want to create firstly a model class list model. So let's. let we will have a car brand and we will have a model okay now I want also uh, create a view model where we will uh, create a fetching process this view model okay okay so uh, now let's uh, start configure our table view function configure table and it will be private okay uh, so as I said before, we we are not going to add any data source and delegate processes. We will do everything through the Rx Swift. So let's add our Rx Swift and let's add our view model. By the way, it's also private. Uh, list view model. Okay, what we need to do. Uh, in Rx Swift, we will have a actually in listings we will have a three. Basically, it's two. So firstly, we need to bind table. Second, we need to fetch our items. Third is handle selection. Okay, so. Before binding it, uh, actually we bind our uh, table to our items. So firstly, we need to create our items in our view model. I want to show 
just near the view controller for better understanding let's make this code bigger okay so we need to also import rx swift and import rx coco because we will use both of them firstly we need to uh, create our items let's call it list items and it will be a publish subject class a uh, publish subject uh, let's press the option button from keyboard and tap the publish subject and uh, it will get a element type and it will create an array uh, which element type we will give it so it's like a T type in Swift. So let's create our function fetch items. Okay, let items will be a list model. Okay, model will be model S. It the brand will be Tesla. Three, four, four is enough. So secondly, BMW M6. Let's make this class for Mercedes, and let's make it R. A is Audi. Okay, cool. Now let's uh, add the our items to our list item array different from the as usual way we we don't we don't use an append or add fun functions in rx suite we will we have a on next where we add our items so that's all so we have a items we have an array and fetch class everything is okay now let's bind our table to our list items so view model list items we will call a bind and I think this one yeah so bind list items to our table rx items so it will be items there is a cell identifier here yeah. our cell identifier is cell now let's make it like that and our cell type So here cell type is UI table view cell dot self. Now this bind is uh, has a closure and it will give us a row item which is a list item data and it will give us a cell. So now we can add our items to our text label text item model at the top detail table text item and brand will be at the bottom uh, now we can close this view model okay here you see that we have a warning a uh, result of the bind uh, is unused uh, the bind function has a return type so but we don't need to use this return so how we should handle it uh, just not cause the data leak so in rx swift uh, there is a class which is called disposed bag let's define our variable disposed bag okay like that so in the end of the bind function we called disposed by disposed back 
now our warning will be removed and we don't cause any data leak okay cool secondly let's fetch our view model so why we uh, we didn't firstly fetch and then secondly uh, we we bind uh, our I items uh, so the logic in the R rx swift is you can change uh, let me open the view model again and explain you much easier way so when we update these items array anytime uh, let's assume that uh, you are creating a application which has a notification functions well so notifications is a listing it's also array so when you get a new notification automatically it will update uh, this table and uh, without just calling the reload table or uh, just calling table view again in some other way uh, so that's that's how rx swift works firstly we need to bind our array to our table then secondly fetch our uh, items then when the fetching process is finished when the list items uh, is actually when the our array uh, is get the data and it will automatically uh, update the table view by using the, the bind function so the logic is like that in rx swift now let's run our project and see the result how how it looks like in table view No, sorry, we didn't call our configure class of configure function. Okay, yeah, cool. Our model S, BMW, S class, and Audi. That's cool. Now let's handle our uh, selection. When we select, let's just simply pr uh, print the result. So table rx model selected our model is list model and also we will bind it not like this way bind with closure sorry <laughs> selected items in here let's just simply print our selected car selected car is selected items that model or like that selected rent of course with disposed by uh, just don't forget uh, writing disposed by uh, just calling disposed by functions uh, when you use rx functions mm, binding or calling other functions uh, or other actions uh, because it will when we, when we don't use this one it will call a leak memory leak in in your project okay okay so this car is mercedes s class oh there it is bmw okay that works fine uh, that's all for rx swift uh, it's just a basic uh, introduction uh, of course it has uh, other uh, functionalities other deep dive uh, handling how we, we can handle networking how we can handle other situations passing data etc etc 
So, um, as for introduction, it's uh, enough for basic intro. Uh, if you like uh, our videos, don't forget tap the like button and if you don't uh, subscribe our channel, just uh, tapping the subscribe button and uh, open the notification, just not, just be notified when we add new videos. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye, see you next